Hello everyone, welcome to today's All Skills Race um, with Aprilo and Paco. It's gonna be a fun race, I'm excited to see how this goes. Oh yeah, same. Um, welcome from your soul. I'm <laughs> commentating with our lovely Shy. Hi hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, with that, let's count down the runners, let me ping them. Oh, I'm so excited for the race. Oh yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see how this goes. Mm, the PB are um, so close. Yeah, so Aprilo's PB is a 107.16, and Taco is a 58.30. So, it's mm. not an unsubstantial difference, but I'm excited to see how it'll go. And I think lately April has gotten some great times, so... Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Should be close, hopefully. Yeah. An interesting thing to know is, especially when runners aren't at the top level, where they've spent so many hours that they just bad runs aren't bad, is a PB versus consistency are two totally different things. True, definitely true. Yeah, agreed. So, uh, a runner might have a PB that's one time, but a consistency that reflects a totally different time. And it's just something I find very fascinating. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm very amazed of how consistent top runners are. Like, X has gotten like 50s so often in this tournament. Oh, yeah. And, so and I think uh, Pisces, former world record holder, yeah. got a 49 in the tournament, which is just insane. True. Okay. I okay. counted the runners down. Uh, there mm -hmm. is a 40 second stream delay, so it might take a while before they actually start off. Um, but yeah, so this first area you'll see the, the runners in is called King's Pass. Um, and this area is... Um, the beginning areas of the game are actually uh, considerably harder than others. Just because you don't... To get it optimally, you need to get every jump and every dash properly, and it can be quite difficult. Yeah, definitely. Tiny movement optimization will be very interesting in the early game. Oh, for sure. So it looks like both runners are studying off. We need to watch their timers to make sure that there are uh, no issues with them. Uh, I don't imagine there will be. Hopefully not. Yep. So Aprilo letting the cutscene run out. It's interesting <laughs> to know. Um, Aprilo is a current patch runner, right? Mm hmm. Might be, yeah. So, um, if they are, <laughs> that might affect, like, um... If they get confused between the patches, there are minor differences that can sometimes be a bit confusing. Oh, yeah, but Taco's definitely. struggling a little bit here with uh, that Venge fly. He took one damage. Yeah. Which is just not ideal. Oh, but I guess the soft fall there. Yep. Which saves a little bit of time. Yeah. And Aprilo's struggling with the Venge fly. That Venge fly can be really annoying. It can True, just yeah. not go where you want it to. Does he get the software? Oh, he gets the RNG software. Oh, Interesting. nice. There's two ways to do that one. Either relying on RNG to get the soft fall, and if you mess up, then you just take the hard fall and you lose time. Or you can end up... Um, or you can end up uh, doing a little mini jump beforehand. And then you won't have that. Mm -hmm. So 56 from April and 1 minute from Taiko. Okay. Decent times. Very decent. I don't... I doubt uh, Taco is too happy with his time. Oh. Uh, a minute coming out of King's Pass is not the best start for a run. Mm -hmm. But it's so early on that it, in the long run it makes no difference at all. 
Yeah, hopefully it won't matter. I can't imagine it will. So this next room that Prillo is in now um, has a Grezzer drop, which is complete RNG whether or not you get hit during it. As you saw, a pillow yeah. got no hit, but Taco did get hit once. It is actually possible to get up, hit up to three times in that room, which just absolutely sucks. Hold on, what's Taco doing? Yeah, does Taco have the game time on? Because it looks oh. like he doesn't have... He must have been changing it. Uh, the timer we use uh, does not count loads. So it looked like Taco's timer was counting the loads, which would be a huge deficit for him. So he just made the switch on live split. It doesn't affect uh, the game. It doesn't affect how it will, how much it has recorded of the run so far. Taco opting to heal here because he took two damage in the previous rooms on top of the one on in. Oh. Uh, King's Pass. So both runners now at 3 health. Yeah, they definitely don't want to die here. That would be a huge setback. Oh yeah. And it's also, there's the aspect of getting tilted during a run. Mm. Where... Mm. Where you just don't get off to a good start. And that leaves you in a bit of a negative mindset for the rest of the run. Yeah. And that Hopefully can be hard to get past. Mm, yeah. Hopefully they won't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Paco getting poor RNG. Actually, he didn't get... Both runners actually got the same RNG there. <laughs> they just handled it differently. Hey, for uh, playing but... very good right now. Yeah, let's see how they handle the False Knight. Uh, we actually use a dev intended skip. Oh, April choosing to heal there. But yeah, so we actually use a dev intended skip to bypass most of the fight. No taco at one health, come on! Oh. Okay, good, he's able to heal here. Okay, yeah. Taco good. going for the fury stress without fury. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> had good on G. Yeah. Fair enough. And the good thing is, um, you get full soul from the false knight and then you need to wait for him to whack the gate open anyway so you have four free heals just in that instance alone between mm -hmm. when you stagger the false knight and when he pops his head out and then when he jumps up and when he actually opens the gate for you Yeah, you know, both having the same level of soul, which is well decent enough. I mean, the more you hear the less soul you have, and the more you have to gather, well, I guess, but it doesn't matter for the split enemy in mode. It doesn't... For most of the run, it makes a huge difference how much soul you have. But when you pick up a base level spell like this one, this is the first ability of the oh. game. <laughs> um, it actually uh, fills up your soul completely. Path of Pain runner knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, interesting. so Shai is actually a world record holder for Path of Pain. So he has a lot of game knowledge about movement and specifics about that. Yeah, not about the game though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you recently started running all skills as well, correct? Yeah, true. I have a 58 time, but yeah. <laughs> Isn't that game what Paco so. has? Yeah, true. Nice. Yeah, oh, maybe so, even, uh, yeah, maybe we see our PB today. It'd be very interesting. Or very cool. Mm -hmm. Race PBs are particularly exciting because it's a no reset setting, plus the added nerves of being in a tournament. Mm -hmm. So both mm -hmm. runners are opting to heal here. This bench is not mandatory because you have the uh, it hard saves you by that bench anyway. So although you need to quit out there, you don't need to sit there. Unless you're down one health or more, in which case it's worth it to heal. Wow, mm -hmm. Rickson telling us that the runners are sub-second apart, mm -hmm. which is close. absolutely insane. Oh, but Tego falling down. 
Oh, it's still early days yet, though. We'll see how the rest of the run goes. Oh no! Oh, no. A pillow falling! Oh, no. That is the last thing you want to do there. I suppose dying would be the last thing you want to do there, but that's the close second. Yeah, dying at Hornet it would be very huge. So, that skip that Taco just attempted is what we call a fireball skip, using the knockback from our fireball to give us a little bit of extra distance in our jump to be able to reach ledges that we wouldn't be able to reach before. There are three fireball skips in the run. The one that you just saw Taco attempt was the first one, and also the least inconsequential as it only loses two seconds if you miss it. But the next two are really important. The one coming up is if you miss it, you lose a ton of time to do a backup pogo on a squit. This fireball skip lets you bypass most of a uh, green path, actually. Oh, oh no, Aprilla! Um, jumping, jumping is hard, but you gotta oh, do no. it! Oh Check no, Taco misses the fireball skip. He so get the... here he's going to show the backup squit pogo. Oh, that looks... Oh, I got it. Genius. And he gets it. That's good. Oh, Apple going for the uh, fly pogo. Yeah, it looks like Apple's gonna do it as well. So there's one more fireball skip. Hopefully we'll be able to see uh, Taco pull off this one. Oh, he doesn't sure. just by a bit. He was so close. He was a tiny bit too low on his turnaround. A bit too late on his turnaround. Um, and because you have to go all the way around, it loses 12 seconds to miss. Yeah. But it looks like Aprilo lost it, missed it too, so they're on... Oh! Aprilo actually went for a backup. And he did uh, not get it. That's gonna lose him even more time. Yeah, they have a huge difference now, sadly. Um, I wouldn't say it's too huge yet. Uh, Pillow That's opting fair. to heal here. I hope he'll be able to get enough soul. He wants to get up to- he wants to get- Okay, good, he has the right amount of soul. He needs an almost full amount of soul to be able to kill the Moss Knight. Unless he goes for the double hit. I mean, you can I'm technically. Sure what he's doing. Yeah, it's. Normally, um. And what you saw Taco do was hit it once, and then fireball it three times. And that way, you don't take any damage. Well, it still worked out for him. So Taco now on his way to his second boss fight, uh, the Hornet 2 fight. Uh, not Hornet 2, what am I saying? <laughs> the Hornet fight. <laughs> Hornet 2 comes a lot later in the run and is so much harder. Yeah, definitely. They shouldn't be having too much of a problem with Hornet 1. Mm -hmm. It's a very linear fight. It's... When you're trying to do it fast, it can be a little bit scarier because you're just taking more risks. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, Taco oh. one health. He's opting not to heal. Please don't die, Taco. Please. Oh, this guy is so close. I doubt he would be so. And there he goes. Problematic. It looks like a pillow yeah. chose to heal up one, which is a yeah, good idea. Good. You don't want to enter the fight with one health. Especially not in a race. For sure, yeah. He's farming soul off of this guy, too. Really smart how he's doing it. Missing it very slightly, but... It should oh, be good there now. he goes. So, hopefully with 3 health, that'll be enough for him to go through the Hornet fight. Uh, Taco, meanwhile, picked up the, da the Mothwing Cloak. Uh, the dash ability. And this will allow us to just Rossi, zoom honey. through Hallowness a lot quicker. Uh, this next segment 
uh, fungal waste it is needed to pick up claw the ability that will unlock most of the game oh no the wall eating one of a pillow's fireballs oh that's wrong oh it's still looking good mm -hmm. oh no it's oh, for one health it looks like he's gonna oh, he use heal yeah that's fair very wise choice you can see the difference between a pillow and taco's fight Taco looks just a little bit more com comfortable with it. Please don't die. No! Oh no, oh god. It looks like he tried to heal, but then panicked mm -hmm. because she threw her needle. That's oh, what yeah. it looked like to me. Yeah, I know, for sure. Ah, but he okay, got it. Okay, good. She's dead. Thankfully. Now. A death to Hornet is so taxing because not only do you. Have to go through all of Green Path again, do those skips again, loses a ton of time. But to die so early on in the game, it just feels yucky. Like, yeah. it's not a good way to start off a run. So, Rixian in, in chat informing us that there is now a 1 minute and 39 second difference between our two runners. But it's still early on. The run can still go either way. Yeah, for sure. We see if he gets the e pogo. Yes, he does. Nice job, Taco. That trick can be really complicated. Not yeah. complicated so much as hard to pull off, I guess, is the better way to put it. Mm -hmm. For sure. Especially in a race when you're nervous. Yes. So, uh... Oh no, Taco mm -hmm. misses the Mantis pogo. This pogo has an incredibly precise setup. Which, if you miss, can lose you a ton of time, as you're seeing now. Yeah. Yeah, he has to go around. That's yep. a good time. No, Looks like time. he's actually going to attempt to pull go off the mantis there. Yeah. Doesn't get it, though. Yeah, he opts not to in the end. Oh no, and he fell oh, down. Oh no, and he fell down. Oh, uh, that's wrong. That, that's... Paco cannot be very happy with himself over here. One health, please oh, don't no. die, Taco. Please just take it slow. I wonder if he's watching the race. I wonder if he knows if he's ahead. Which he still is. Oh, Hopefully April's a pillow. Cool. Do much of a hard time with this, these next steps. It's definitely a very rough part about the whole race. For sure. Oh, he's not getting this set up unless it's intentional, but no, it's not okay. I'm not sure. It looks like he just. Oh no, and he took damage too. That's another thing that's really scary about that skip. They do two damage, so if you mess up, it can be relatively easy to die there. But oh, he but does it get it second try, very smooth. Nice. While Paco heads over to fight the Gruz mother. Oh, meanwhile, uh, April only having one soul. Could be rough. I oh, that's this. right. He needs. It looks like he's not going for the Mets Pogo. I have fair enough, he's going set up this straight away. He was so close to getting it. Oh. He does opt to turn around now. Oh no, now one health. Please heal. Oh no. Both our runners struggling a bit with this. It's definitely very hard. Oh, for sure one of those strats that look a lot easier than they are. Mm, so Taco sure. now fighting Res Mother. Uh, makes quick work of her. Let's see how he handles the cleanup. The Res Mother spawns a bunch of little baby Grezzers, and they can either give you really blessed RNG or really cursed RNG. And Taco gets a really clean cleanup. Nice job. Oh yeah, Taco being really low on Geo, just having barely enough. Oh, that's right. 
Geo in the beginning of this race is very tight because very early on you want to pick up Shaman Stone for the cost of 250 as well as, uh, uh, not Great Slash, Dash Slash from Nilmaster Oro for the hefty price of 800 Geo. Hmm. Very expensive. Oh no, Taco, what are you doing? No, 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 no! No. The you guys so had just the Grusser. And now that that joke's out of the way, uh, Taco's performing a shade skip, using his shade to pogo up to an area that the devs did not intend for you able to re to for you to be able to reach so early on. Yeah, very clean from Taco. Yes, yeah, so he will be meandering across the blue lake. While Aprilo does sim a similar meandering over to Gre's mother. And let's see how he handles the kill. Falco's now going to be heading making his way into City of Tears. So Pirlo not having quite as smooth of a cleanup, but still not the worst. Not the worst at all. Yeah, it's still fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's a lot... How's his Geo? Yeah, he's a lot more comfy with Geo. Yeah, Draco looking really rough now. Mm-hmm. He missed a couple husks, that's gonna come back to bite him. You need to yeah. kill all the husks in that room. Oh, or you might not have enough geo. I personally always aim for a 250 geo there. I don't know how you plan it. I don't have geo planning, I kind of <laughs> swing it and get lucky. Or end up Missed screwed. Me. That's fair. But it's only ever been an issue for me once. Yeah, I don't know. I'm if, having a rough if time. If you know too. where all the geo pickups are, then for the most part, as long as you make sure not to leave too much behind, you should be set. That's fair. So you can see Taco now uh, getting a lot of doubles on the great, gorgeous husk. Really clean kill. I mm. hope he picked up all the geo because he's gonna need it. Yeah, for sure. Gonna head to Great Slash now? Or Death Slash? Death Slash, yeah. Death Slash, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gonna need 8 on oh, Geo. Oh, 7 but... 15! Geo, uh, yeah. he's fine on Geo now. That's good. The minimum amount of Geo you want to go into Kingdom's Edge with is 710, because that'll give you enough that you can leave behind a little bit of Geo without worrying about being not having enough. So, so you can see Aprilo now entering uh, King Station himself. Oh, with a lot of Geo. Mm -hmm. I'll take a going for the, I guess, a bit more safer strat without the upslash, but still working out yeah. very nice. That upslash strat that Monster uses. I mean, it's a monster strat, so it has to be spicy <laughs> by nature. That's true. But Taco's struggling a little bit with the strat. He didn't take any damage though, and he ended up with enough geo, and that's the important thing. Yeah, definitely. Also having enough um, health to tank a bit here. That's fine. Mm -hmm. that's oh no, Taco! Still fine? Yeah, yeah. Taco's fine. Nice. Oh, I prefer getting to, um, yeah, get back to main menu. Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> it's possible that he runs another category where you don't quit out. It can sometimes be rather hard to separate different categories in your mind. Yeah, for sure. I've had the problem so many times. Mm-hmm. 
each category, some categories have similar enough movement that's just different enough for it to be confusing. Hmm. For sure. If you're being very good on Geo, he's gonna have no problems at all here. Mm -hmm. He's definitely I hope that he been... knows the cycles though. Yeah, hopefully. So Taco Which... TV now making his way over to uh, the Soul Sanctum, which is, I want to say, the most RNG heavy segment mm. of the run. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. April at one health. Please don't die. <gasps> oh, no. He's going to need some more Geo. He needs more Geo. He's going to play it safe. April, no, no, no. I think... Oh, he goes for the Geo Rose. I oh. guess. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> April, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm so scared. April! He might. He was able to heal. Oh no, he hit the Prime Aspid. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Those Aspids are not kind. No, not at all. Okay. And I didn't even know that they shoot a lot faster when you hit them, which makes them yeah, a lot worse. Yeah, they do. Uh, they aggro a lot faster, I think, is what it is. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, it looks like... I'm going to assume by the fact that Taco just wrote in chat that he has the oh. stream up. <laughs> I'm not sure if Aprilo does though. But yeah, so Taco picking up the upgraded version of of uh, Vengeful Spirit uh, now. Hmm. And this will be incredibly useful. It has a huge damage yes. output for the early game. You're definitely not supposed to get the spell so early. Yeah, but sure. this is used, it does 40 damage on its own and 80 if you double it, yeah, so which absolutely wow. shreds early game yeah. bosses. Mm. It's gonna be a very nice spell for uh, Soulmaster, is it his name? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, he is now going to go through uh, the main part of saying dumb. He just fought one Soul Twister in the arena, but from now on, these are common enemies, and they are notorious for teleporting right into your dash when you just can't dodge them. Mm. So it's oh, yeah. not uncommon for runners to take a lot of damage there. Actually, dying there is even pretty common. Oh, or at yeah. least I die a lot there. Oh no, he fired the fireball just as soul, just the soul warrior teleported away. Yeah, very unlucky, but he still got it very clean. Oh, yes. the movement though. Struggling a bit with it. Oh, so... Uh, the reason why... Uh, we get dash slash so early is because... Um, it's used a lot for sequence breaking skips, like the one Taco is about to do, where he hits the lever through the door, and that allows us to skip some absolutely brutal parts of Sanctum, mm. and whole areas of other parts of the game. Actually being called Hell Room, that room that he skipped just. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> one of the main reasons why I don't run on current patch. Yeah, for sure. On current patch, um, you are unable to do lever skips, so you're just stuck with, with all the RNG segments. Yeah. It's P being rough. <laughs> oh, we get some nice doubles, no? Oh, yeah. Uh, Soul Master's gonna be one, two fireballs away? Yeah, there it is. Very nice. Oh, I also uh, switched to Taco's audio because it looked like he's going to be ahead. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And we should know soon, thanks to our lovely Rixian, um, what the time difference is between the two runners. Oh wow, Taco just did some spicy hits on that Soul Master. Oh yeah, looking very cute. 
Taco's Yay. movement in general in the game is really good. And that definitely helps him out with runs. Yeah, for sure. So he's now picking up the downward spell, Desolate Dive. This isn't used so much uh, during the run. It's mostly used just to break floors as the devs intended. But once we get the upgraded version, de uh, de uh, Descending Dark, mm -hmm. it becomes so powerful that it, if we get all three ticks on... That combined with the iframes that you get from from the animation, the spell is just so overpowered. Yeah, especially on older patch where the iframes are a lot longer than on current patch. Yes. Oh, Chuck having some very clean movement there. Oh yeah. It's surprising, like honestly, maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but getting out of Sanctum alive is hard. Yeah, when I know. you're trying to do it fast. For sure. It's a very big relief to get out of Sanctum alive. For sure. So Rixian telling us that the runners are now three minutes and five seconds apart. Let's see if Taka will save the grub on his way out of Sanctum. He does not <laughs> I am disappointed beyond anything. I respect it. I don't? Shy? <laughs> Saving the frames, you know. <laughs> Shy? <laughs> there, there's a three minute difference. I, I think I think he can afford the the, 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 the two seconds. What is it yeah. like? <laughs> three frames? He's going for the big PB. <laughs> is he on PB pace? Um, might be. Or just didn't see that um, many mistakes, so... I mean, he had a little bit of a rough start with his early game. Um, with Green Path missing the fireball <laughs> skips, and then... Um, with... Hmm? Uh, the Mantis Pogo. So, it's possible he is. He had a really good Sanctum. But I'm not sure. I mean, a 58 should be possible still. I mean, yeah, the green path was very slow, that's fair. But if you place this very clean, then he could technically be able, but it would be very hard. That's for that's sure. That's true, yeah. So, therefore, he should have saved the grub. <laughs> Let's get back to the point here. Fair enough. Oh, Taco was low on Geo. He's now at exactly 300. Oh, wow. Mm. Who knows? Uh, until King Station, Geo in general is very tight because there aren't that many, you need to buy a lot of expensive things quickly. There just aren't a lot of great places to purchase to get Geo. At least to get Geo quickly. Oh no, Taco took a damage there and a Prillo at one health. Oh, we got it. Why did he pick up the, the relic? So he picks up the relic, but he does not save the grub? <laughs> Taco, what is this? Setting priorities straight. <laughs> Die! <laughs> no! <laughs> but he's a Mila killer too, gee whiz. Oh. Don't you say your opinion on it, Shy. <laughs> no, no, I shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wise decision. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, Aprilo now leaving Sanctum as well. Um, he's going to be a lot more comfy on Geo than Taco was. Assuming he kills all the husks he's supposed to. Hopefully he saves the grub. Oh, maybe Taco will even go for the kill on Mina. That would be interesting. Go for the what? <laughs> I kill on Mina or Myla. You can't kill Myla until after she picks up Crystal Heart, thank goodness. Ah, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Shy! <laughs> I mean, obviously that's very nice. 
<laughs> Shy. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, taco going for crystal peak. Yeah, yeah, so this next segment that Taco's going through is really scary because you only have five health effectively for the entire time. He doesn't save the grub either, I'm disappointed. Although he does need he does need the frames. That's true. So <laughs> this next segment is difficult because any time you spend healing is Time lost, and it's incredibly cycle based. And if you die in a lot of places in Crystal Peaks, it's a huge time loss. Yeah, for sure. So let's see how Taco handles these cycle based room. Let's see if he goes for God Cycle. He does not get it. Master, and he took a damage. Still getting through it. Using the Let's safe route. Otherwise. Yeah, so he handled this room really well. Um, he handled this room really well, except <laughs> for my mini comms curse there. Yeah, he got through though. Oh Everything. shoot, Aprilo needs a little bit more Geo. He must not have killed any husks on the way around. Mm hmm. But thankfully, you remembered it, and I guess now. Very nice. Oh no, Taco saying oof in chat. What happened? Oh no. no, Taco. I'm scared. Oh no. I hope he didn't die, at least. Okay. Um. Oh no. Oh, this so he messed up. He yeah. messed up the uh, quick the uh, quick cycle. But it looks like he recovered it. Looks rough. Or... He didn't oh, yeah. quite recover it because oh, no. you can't trust that everything will. <gasps> no, Taco! No, no, no! Oh no! Oh god! Please! My heart can't take. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was terrifying. That was terrifying. I was so Taco, scared. don't scare us like that. <laughs> 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 Oh God. But he does oh God. get through Crystal Heart. As so that's what I was saying. Um, <laughs> um just yeah. get a hit cascade and lose all your health. Chat saying no under plat, but seeing as he was at one health, I don't blame him. That would have been my mistake to be honest. He should have saved that grub though. You know why this happened? You know why this happened? It's because he didn't save the grub. Oh God. <laughs> Did I save the grub? I'm telling you. Fair enough. Hopefully, he won't have too much of an issue with the crusher cycle or the upcoming dark room. Yeah, every half you lose there will definitely come back to you later on the dark room, and it's gonna be rough, definitely. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, especially. Takes... Oh, taco at two health. You don't want to go through the section at two health. It looks um... like he can afford to heal though. Which he does not do, and it looks like he's doing the dashless mm. movement as well. Yeah, the plus he dash. Very interesting. Yeah. Which is riskier, but also way faster. And he's getting it. Really clean. Having two half, which is the bare minimum that you'd need for getting the skip. Mm hmm. As long as he doesn't get hit here. Yeah. So, Aprilu now entering Crystal Peaks himself while. Taco d is on the last leg of his trip to pick up D-Dark. Two health is actually the minimum you want to go into mound with. Although it's not comfy unless you're at three. Mm. Um, because it's really easy to damage Cascade. And there's... Um. Assuming you don't take any damage. No, Taco, don't oh, do the, oh the slide! <laughs> <laughs> Basically, there's a skip there you can do where you dash slash into the pickup, and it'll send you flinging into the spikes, which will give you a damage, but it'll also uh, allow you to move during the pickup animation, which saves a ton of time. But you don't want to do it if you're at one health. No. <laughs> Actually, I did I that so one I'm so happy around. you didn't do that, Taco. <laughs> Yeah, he stopped it even. Like, he already started channeling it. 
<laughs> yeah. So, although it might be scary that he's at one health for the next little while, there's literally nowhere for him to die until he quits out. <laughs> so, Aprilo now going to pick up his C dash. Um, hopefully, he has a better, better luck with the setup than Taco did. It's actually a lot safer to go through quickly than to yeah. go through slowly. Yeah, no, for sure. And it looks like he's doing slow. I don't know if he knows the quick version. I mean, it looked like he tried doing the setup for it, but... Yeah. He... Oh, no! no! <laughs> he oh, goes to the underplot and messes it up. No! He's going for the memes. Add two health himself. <laughs> Very respectable. But you know what? Yes, mad respect to Aprilo. He went for it. Oh god. Okay, nice. That was very close. And nice underplot from Taco in the dream world there. Uh, he's Ooh. now picking up dream now. Although this is not necessarily a skill, it is completely necessary to beat the game. As you need to be able to dream nail the dreamers to be able to slurp them up. Which is necessary to reach endgame. So, a pillow opting not to heal. Mm -hmm. Um, I really hope he knows the. Oh no, a Prillo. Mm -hmm. He looked like he was going to mine soul off of this Glenback, but just went a little bit too far on his C dash. He's now back at a comfy amount of health, though. Yeah, for sure. That's what you want to see for this tough section. Yes. So, meanwhile, Taco is going to go fight Watcher Knights. Although casual players and any percent players have a really difficult time with this fight, on in all skills and the 100% and 106%, it's actually not that difficult. Because here we chain D Darks to uh, completely decimate them. Three D Darks will kill a Watcher Knight. Assuming they don't roll like that. Uh, Taco getting some 4 mm. RNG. So it takes 4 D darks instead of 3, but still a good, a really clean kill. Meanwhile, April netting the dark room with the death strike. Mm -hmm. Very nice. He doesn't have quite enough soul though. Oh no, he didn't see dash. Okay, good, he's he's C dashing now. I may or may not have lost a painful run. <laughs> A PB pace run to forgetting to see dash there. Oh no. Yeah, same though. I just dropped straight to the dreamers. Yep. <laughs> but it's not an all skills run unless you pick up DD Dark. Yeah. So oh, Taco, as through. you can see, making really quick work of those Watcher Knights to slurp up his first streamer. Mm -hmm, very nice. Meanwhile, April going for the quick strat. Oh, not a that's a scary thing. strat to go for. You should yeah. never go for it more than once. Yeah. Because it'll put the the flying enemy in a different position. And also, you need the health. Mm -hmm. So it Definitely. looks like April will be able to show off the dash slash strat that we were talking about with Taco. Yes, yep. very much. And he goes, wee into the spikes. <laughs> And uh, Taco slurping up his first streamer, uh, Lorian the Watcher. Kind of a creepy dude, but anyway. <laughs> just casually watching the city. Oh, wait. April's. Oh, yeah, April okay. uh, passed <laughs> the point. I was wondering about that. I was like, oh, wait, no, never mind. That's the one that you're supposed to dash. But then I was like, wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> Autopiloting past, that's such a mood. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, this next part of the run that Taco's going to be going through is honestly one of my personal favorites. He's going to pick up Isma's tier, but we're not going to go through waterways. What he's going to do is... <laughs> is he's going to... 
uh, do a set of three skips in a row. First, a really jank spike tunnel, followed by two acid skips, one of which requires a really cool uh, use of a minor glitch that um, I believe Taka will show up by doing the show off by doing the setup version of the skip. Mm. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, the setup version is very hard. Um, it requires a yeah. um, uh, dash cancel. <laughs> I'm just gonna trigger <laughs> everyone here. No, no, that's the correct term. True, At true. least that's something we agree on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Taco opting to heal up and get some soul off of these creatures, husks, things, which makes sense. You do not want to start these skips without full health, and you ideally want to go in with a bit of extra soul in case you take damage. Yeah, for sure. And he knows that he can afford it. He's definitely off of PP pace at this point. Yeah, that's fair. So Taco, I want to see you saving some grubs. <laughs> I think he saved the free one in C Peaks at least though. Oh yeah, I didn't pay attention. But my PL. Yeah. yeah, so the reason why he fireballs those worms is because sometimes one of the worms will be just in the path of your C dash. And the only way to find out is by bumping into him, taking two hits of damage. Oh, it looks like he's going for the setup list version actually. Oh yeah. Uh, he is. Using a dash cancel to redirect his dash momentum to give him enough to end up going for the setup version where it's just a precise timing. Yeah, he's getting the early control by getting hit from that boom. So no matter what setup April goes for, we end up getting to see both of them, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And April now starting his own Watcher Knights fight. Um, as you can see, he just got really good RNG. Both Watcher Knights stayed in place, and he was able to de-dark them. Oh, oh and Taco getting good RNG on the bridge. Mm -hmm. But he stops to see Dash a tiny bit too late and face plants into the husk. Oh, that was nice really for me. Good Watcher Knights fight. That was incredible from April. Yeah. Oh. Taco doing something very scary, but he got it. <laughs> he ended up. He did an inventory drop over spikes there. I was hoping that he would take the safer version and just not mm -hmm. inventory drop. But it ended up working out all right for him. Very well done. So this next segment has a bunch of Molarchs, which look like they are complete RNG, but they are in fact not. There's only one Molarch that is complete RNG whether or not you get hit. All the others are completely avoidable. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh really? Yeah, so I just as could... you can see, <laughs> mm -hmm. so there. Yeah, this okay. one is actually a purposeful damage tank because it's faster than the safe strats. Mm -hmm. okay, this then. last one is the hardest to avoid, but he oh, gets wait. it perfectly. Well played, Taco. She goes for the skip. And it looks like he is trying to do the basin jump, which requires a really precise dash cancel. Oh, he and fine. he gets it. Nice job. Nice. And he opts for the safe strat of opening that oh. that gate, which makes sense. He has enough of a lead, and he doesn't want to have to go through all of that again if he dies. Yeah, very smart. Fires the shade soul just a tiny bit too early though and doesn't get the double. Yeah, this can fight being very nice. The good RNG you want to see is 
an attack that you wanted to start there. Sadly, yeah. got interrupted, but yeah, that attack is so, working. You want to get the headbang because you can chain D-Dux until a uh, broken vessel dies. Uh, Taco hit the broken vessel out of out of that attack uh, with an unfortunate stagger timing. But overall, it was a really well played fight. Mm -hmm, for sure. So no, he's now picking perfect. up the. Yeah? Yeah, no, what, sorry. What, yeah. what do you say? <laughs> yeah, if we're going for the spike corner now, it's very interesting. Oh, yeah, let's see how he goes. Doesn't get a first try, but that's fair. Oh, forgot the strat there for a second, I think. Yeah. Looks like oh, he's struggling scared. a bit. Yeah, for sure. It is really hard to get. Definitely. So, uh, Taco just picked up the second to last movement strat. Movement ability. Um, uh, wings, monarch wings. This will allow him to double jump. Oh, and there's Aprilo with the spike tunnel. I oh, yeah. wonder if he'll farm soul off of the, uh, Rotten egg thing. Not everyone knows about its existence. Oh, yep, he does. and he does. Honestly, a smart decision. You can dream of that. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I found it out when I started speedrunning as well, and I was struggling with the skips. I needed the soul. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, getting the acid skip though. Nice. Really smooth acid skip. Oh no, he dunks in the acid. He's really low. Looks like he's also going for the dash cancel strat. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh no, Aprilo, what are you doing? Okay. But he ends up going for the setup as well. Very fair. Honestly, it makes sense. That strat is more consistent for me at least. And it feels safer. He's at one health though now, which is a little bit scary. And yeah, he true. can't afford to die and lose any of that Geo. Are we gonna see uh, a bench from Teko? I did not know about that oh. Z-Dash. Is that optimal? Yeah. Me neither, I have no idea. That was very interesting. Interesting, yeah. I'll have to ask some of the more knowledgeable runners. So, Taco now going into um, the hardest fight of the game, um, mm. of the run, uh, the Hornet 2 fight, while Aprilo uh, C dashed across a, a, uh, the bridge, which is RNG, whether or not you'll get hit. Which was a bit of a heart-stopping moment. Yeah, very close. So the thing that you want to look for in the Hornet fight is a lot of doubles with your Shade Soul and as few parries as possible. Looking decent so far. Mm -hmm. He's handling yeah, it really well. He only took two damage. Uh, Anti-comms curse, anti-comms curse, anti-comms curse. <laughs> Yeah, that left the fight's looking horrible. <laughs> yes. Herm, we need you. <laughs> oh the the parry on the fireball. That's so yeah, annoying. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And he was close enough that he couldn't avoid getting hit by it either. Yeah. Very mean sometimes. He's getting but he gets to it first try. Really well done, Taco. While Aprilo is moving through the Moloch area. He opts for the safest strat, although it is the slowest, to de-dark that Moloch to a, and just walk through it. Yeah, if we're taking the time to heal, which is fair enough. Yeah, it makes sense. I didn't know that you could uh, dream nail it, though. Me neither. Oh no, he gets hit on his way out. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's so mean. But he can afford to heal in before this fight starts. Yeah. 
So he no, goes for the basing jump as well, uh, but struggles with it twice and opts not to get it in the end. So Taco's now going to pick up his second nail art, uh, Cyclone Slash. This split doesn't have... is pretty straightforward. It's completely movement based, which means that every little optimization makes a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot of fun though, having all the movement abilities. I absolutely love for that. Sure. Oh no, he's at one health. Aprilo needs to either heal or end the fight quick. Oh, that it might looks be... like he's not doing the headbang. He's he's not uh, de darking during the headbang phase. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, oh no, no, he fires the shades all the wrong way. Oh, that was close. Broken Vessel is still a ways away from dead. He opts not to heal. Oh, oh, oh wow. Gosh. That oh, was gosh. terrifying. <laughs> but the synchronized ground pound abilities. <laughs> <laughs> nice and low. Very good. And he attempts swag door. Props to Aprilo for that. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going for all the memes, like for the underplayed and the swag door. Very nice. Oh, for sure. You might tackle going for Cyclone Slash, I hope. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, very clean movement. I love those wall jumps. Oh yeah, it's it's it feels so smooth to get it all. Yeah. There are so many moments like that, especially in the later segments where wings come into play, where clean movement like that is just it feels so amazing. Mm, for sure. Especially in abyss climb, very nice section. Oh yeah. Um, I, do you currently hold the record for Abyss Climb as well? No, sadly not. Classy got a 29.5, I think. And oh, I have like nice. a 30.4. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what place are you with that? Uh, second, right now. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Well, Kalaski is very oh, yeah, nice. So... Definitely. Very nice, yeah. Right. I mean, both of you are incredibly talented at the individual levels. Yeah, just sees a bit more, but that's fine. So, yeah, so uh, Abyss Climb is, I think, the most movement heavy. Definitely the most movement heavy area of the run. It's a 30 second to infinite, depending on how, how, what stress you go for and how well they end up pull it, working. And it can be really difficult to get. Hmm. At least you don't have Taka... to do as a skip in skills, which is very nice. Yeah, this is true. So Taco now heading into Fungal Waste to fight Umu. I wonder if he what one cycle version he'll go for. I wonder if he knows the one cycle. Yeah, you've been trying out the one new one cycle strat, right? Oh yeah, uh, there used there are now three different strats for the one two two one white one cycle. One involves incredibly complex movement and damage output. One is pretty similar. The second is pretty similar, but not quite as complex movement, just still a very complex damage output. And the third is easy. The mm. third, you just stand there. D dark whack 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 fireball 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 dead. It's it's so easy. Uh, huge cool. props to uh, Valignatev for finding it. Sure. It looks like Taco is going for uh, one of the old strats for one cycle. Most likely the first one um, with the more complex movement. There's no real reason to go for that one over the other ones. Oh no. Except that it's what people have been doing for longer. Oh no, unfortunate death for Aprilo. He did rough. take the camp bench though, it looks like. Thankfully, yeah. Yes. Uh, but, uh, 
Taco missing the one cycle. He missed one of his fireballs and dropped too low, which meant that he couldn't get it. But usually, oh, oh no, he misses the the two cycle as well because Umu got stuck on one of the platforms and wasn't able to get doubled. Yeah, unfortunate. Still okay mm -hmm. though. Yeah, he's still in the lead. By a lot, probably. Well, let's let's see what Rixen uh, tells us after the Hornet fight. Please don't die, Aprilo. Looks like he took just a fraction of a second too long thinking about what he needed to do. Oh, one HP again. This is nerve wrecking. Uh, please don't die. Come on, Aprilo, you got this. Aprilo choosing to heal. Good decision. I'm trying so hard not to commentate this curse him, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hornet just. Ate his fireball. Rude. So mean. Oh, and straight up walking into him. Oh yeah. Oh, um, that was it, terrifying. It was that sick. was really cool movement, but also terrifying. Oh, no! no. Oh, that's sad. Third tries the charm. Hopefully. Yeah, rough thing is, April told me that um, he had to do some schoolwork or like some uni work and he couldn't practice at all. Oh, so he's I probably know. a bit rusty, yeah. Yeah, it's very rough. Uh, Taco taking a lot of damage here, but I expect him to be just fine. He's about to take a mandatory bench in this next room. Yeah, looking fine. Yeah. Oh, April already having only three half clouds. Oh no. Very rough for this fight. Yeah, it's not how you want to start the fight at all. Oh no. An interesting feature that I've that I've used once when I was struggling with a segment um in a race that I think is discounted a lot is if you're in a position like a Prillos, sometimes it's worth it to quit out. If you have a bench nearby where you are, and you know that you might die and lose even more time. Yeah, true. Because quitting out, um, although it might take a while for the loads, the timers pause during that time. So yeah, you have to walk back to where you were, but it might save time. Yeah, that's fair. Also, and I'm more... trying so hard not to calm <laughs> Yeah. Let's just talk about that. Meanwhile, he's yeah. having a very nice movement until I just counted a curse him again, I guess. <laughs> Shy! <laughs> okay. Hey, let's go, Aprilo! Very nice. GG. That was scary. With only three health, that was very sick. Oh yeah, that was really well played from him. So, uh, Taco now going to pick up his final nail art, Great Slash, heading through Green Path of Pain, dubbed that because the specific movement is so precise, and if you mess it up, you get whacked by one of those Durandos. And mm. it can... it can send you all the way back to the beginning of the room. But Taco, uh, maneuvers the room expertly. Very beautiful indeed. Doing the safe straight and not the weird corner jump, which is very fair to be honest. Oh yeah. Although for health he could have afforded it. Yeah, but it, it makes sense to do the safe strats. You never know what happens in a race. Yeah, true. And it's possible he doesn't know it. Or he hasn't practiced it, or one of those. Yeah. yeah. Probably like like hasn't practiced the movement. It's rather, it's really, really precise. Mm, for sure. 
I somehow got it on my first try, but after that, never again. <laughs> yeah, it's... I... My approach to speedrunning is do what the pros do if it's within my ability. So I spent like a half hour at one point just practicing it for the hell of it. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, Taco now picking up the final base spell, uh, Howling Wraiths. This is the upward spell, and it will, um, allow him... It's not really useful, actually, until we get the upgraded version, Abyss Streak, which is the most powerful spell in the game. Mm. Okay. Um, but he will have to, before we get to that point, he will have to go through a square arena which has precise movement and then all of Queen's Gardens and then Dark Deep Nest to get to Hera. Mm. Well, at least it's a lot more comfortable after Hornet 2. Yeah. That's true. So you can see he really knows what he's doing in this arena. Oh yeah, it looked very nice. Yeah, he missed uh, one split with that fireball, but overall it was really good. He opts not to heal though, even though um, picking up that spell uh, gives you uh, a complete soul refill. Yeah, fair enough. Hopefully so, you won't I would have liked to see him heal, seeing as he has to go through all of QG, which includes a oh. mandatory damage tank. And then Dark Deep Nest. But I guess we'll see how he handles it. At least we don't have to do QTA, which is a very nice thing. Yeah, that's true. So Aprilo is now going to head over to Umu himself. Uh, I wonder if he'll go for any of the One Cycle strats? The nice thing about one cycle is that, for the most part, if you mess it up, and you don't mess it up too badly, it's a rather consistent two cycle. Mm. True. So that was the mandatory damage tank I was talking about earlier. Oh no, that one was not <laughs> mandatory! <laughs> oh, two health Please heal, Taco. And Aprilo taking some damage on the fall there. Okay. okay, good. He has to heal. Let's see how he handles this room. This room has some incredibly precise movement. Mm. And oh. if you take any damage or mess it up. Oh, that, that was scary. That was very close. It, it can be very costly. So you can see now he's opting to heal twice, full health. You want to go into Dark Deep Nest with full soul. So that you can use one D-Dark in, in Dark Nest. And so that you can also um, um, have one D-Dark and one Shade Soul left to kill a Devout in in Beast Den. Oh. Taco going very smoothly through deepness. Yes. Nice. You can't see much of what's going on his screen, but he's handling it quite well. Alright, let's see if April's going to go for the one cycle. I probably guessed not, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like he is. Oh, actually, very interesting. I hope he gets it. He chose mm -hmm. to damage tank there, um, which I don't know why, because it's not necessary. But he definitely is doing the setup. Setup looking good. Uh, oh no, one health. That's... Rough. Yeah. Okay, so he did go for the second version of the setup, which I was talking about earlier. With the less complex movement, but 
the still complex damage cycle and he uh, seemed to have struggled with two of his nail hits which is why he took that damage oh no he's gonna three cycle it looks like uh, I imagine Umu to be one shade soul away at this point yeah hopefully I mean, I have four-cycled Umu a lot of times, to be honest. Oh. This is so... Yeah. Well, this looks rough, yep, I guess. There we go. So, uh... Taco just got his last streamer, Hera, as Aprilo is going to pick up his second. And, um... Now Taco is going to go to pick up the last two abilities in the game. Shade Cloak, the last movement ability, and Abyss Streak, the last spell. Hmm. With very rough uh, parts about it, um, the yes. the shade climb, I think it's called. Uh, the yeah, it's either called the sibling climb or the lighthouse climb. Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but shade climb, is, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing, honestly. Yeah, let's just call it shade climb. We, yeah, we all know what you're talking about, Shy, and that's what matters. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, rough section because you get like double damage and can die easily there yes and you need to use the shades to pogo and they can they tend to swarm around you so if you mess up any of your movement you can be screwed mm -hmm. oh yeah for sure same with abyss clamp it somehow sometimes puts you straight to the beginning after you get damaged or like if right. you're too early yeah. because we use uh a very unintended path um, in Abyss Climb, we tend to miss a lot of the respawn points. So if you uh, tank and uh, end up uh, hitting it yourself in tiny of the spikes, you can respawn all the way back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. or, or very far below the point where you took damage. Very nice drops. Now coming to the shade sipping line. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he's gonna handle it. Honestly, I unpopular opinion, but I kind of find it fun. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Yeah, because although the sh I was told that the shades spawn in relatively consistent positions, their drift is complete RNG. Mm. So. You, there's no getting used to the movement. There's no cycles. You need to read the room as you see it and make decisions on the fly. And that's really one of the only movement areas of this game, of this run, that's like that. By the way, April just got the airwalk. Oh, Look nice airwalk then. Hmm, very nice. Airwalk is a really fun glitch. I correct me if I'm wrong, Shy, but it's I was told it's caused by dashing over a uh, a seam in the floor and then buffering a jump. It doesn't have to be a uh, dash. Like you can also just walk over it. But oh both really? Walks. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you're just like jumping off while the while you're going over the uneven ground, and then the game still thinks that you are on the ground while jumping. Oh, That's so cool. That. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So, uh, synchronized sea dashes, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you love to see. A beautiful. So, a pillow and another one. You love to see it. Uh, Taco going to pick up his last ability of the game, Abyss Shriek, while Aprilo picks up his last nail art. Yeah, Abyss Climb coming up afterwards for Taco. Yeah, let's see how he handles it. I'm curious to see if he'll do some of the advanced strats or some of the safer strats. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Taco has a really nice pace. 
Is Taco on PV pace? No. Hmm. It's gonna be rough. I mean, it'll it be close, be. but it's technically possible. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, oh. Taco ha struggled a bit with his early game, but his mid and late game were incredible. And his movement in general is just really good. As you can see, he's killing this climb. Oh, God. oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Taco, that's on me. He's going for the polo. Very interesting stretch. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, no, I've tried doing it, but it doesn't really save time, sadly. Oh, uh, okay. Very clean so, though. Very nice. Yeah, incredible climb. Other than that one dump, which my fault for that completely. <laughs> yeah, fail. And he gets to go into THK fight with um I'm curious to see if he'll bench or if he'll heal. He has to know that he can PB. Definitely stop our pace though. Yeah. Which would still be very sick. It looks like the uh, timers are are uh, not very synced up, so I'm asking for a sync right now. Uh, one of the runners just probably has a better PC. Yeah, so yeah. taco ops for the bench. Uh, makes sense. Having that shriek will be incredible for him. Hmm, for sure. Oh yeah, no, uh, Taco is unable to PB at this point, which means that the grubs he did not save shall be trapped for nothing. <laughs> Hopefully Taco has a very nice THK fight, then he could get a sub hour. Yeah. He might able to go into the... To... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he should be able to get a stub hour. Yeah. With a good THK fun. Hopefully you didn't go to the curse them again. Yeah. But it should be doable, definitely. So, uh, I don't think we're going to get a time sync. Just because pausing the end fight for a minute is not dramatic. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's good. But in the in the Hollow Knight fight, you want as few dashes as possible, and as few parries. Dashes because with the Abyss Shriek, you need to really get up close to the Hollow Knight and yell in his face. And with dashes, he's just moving too fast for you to do that. You want attacks where he stands still, and you can just shriek in his face like that. And parries, you can't do any damage to him at all. Uh, sadly not getting the sub or very close though. It's going to be... Um, it's gonna be a 1x set time, I believe. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. Unless... Oh no, unless he dies. Oh no. Oh no. That would and be he's rough. in chat too, that's scary. He either won <laughs> or he died. <laughs> Taco! This is nice. Okay. GG. GG, very nice. Okay, that... Little bit of suspense all the way to the end. <laughs> Every boss fight was oh so fun. Very exciting. GG. GG, indeed. So, meanwhile, Aprilo making his way through Dark Deep Nest. Um, really smoothly. Um... I'm trying to figure out where he is myself. Oh, okay, now I know where he is. Yeah. So, uh, let's mark Taco as done. And we're going to use Prillo's audio. 
Um, but really smooth, dark, deep nest from Aprilo. And, uh, 100x, XX time is really good for a race. Uh, a no reset setting? Especially Taco, it appeared... I'm curious to ask him, um, when we interview, um, if he had tourney nerves at the beginning? Because he really... His mid game and end game after after C dash through the end were absolutely incredible. Yeah, for sure. I mean, to be fair, like it was a race setting, and he went for a little bit of safe strats here and there, and without them, right. it would have probably been a sub hour, which is very insane to be honest. That's true. Yeah. So... Yeah, April having a very clean piece then. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I, I missed his Queen's Gardens, but it looked like... I mean, he got through without too much trouble, for like, for sure. Yeah. Having some clean movement. I mean, as to be expected from a Path of Pain runner of his caliber. Like, I mean, he has a 230 and Path of Pain, which is very sick. Aprilla? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm hmm. Yeah, to have that kind of time in Path of Pain, you need to have, like, basic ability in the game. Like, beyond that, like, you need to... You need to know the game and its mm -hmm. mechanics. Yeah, for sure. So Aprilla chose to take that safety bench there. Um, he is on PB pace though, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm... Oh, I'm actually not sure. It depends on how his climb goes. It's gonna be close, indeed. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't... Realistically, I don't think he is. But I could be mistaken. Yeah, two minutes sounds rough, but... Yeah, no. It, yeah, he... He probably can't PB, but it'll be close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two minutes to pick up Shade Cloak. I don't think the top runners do like do that <laughs> to pick yeah. up Shade Cloak and beat THK. No. Oh, he's going for the Spectre. Let's go! Really Let's nice flag door. Taco, Taco don't kill Myla. <laughs> Taco, don't kill Myla. Talk to Elderbug. I, Taco, chat. Tipu was asking you to talk to Elderbug. You must honor chat's request. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know if Taco um, will do anything after the race. I think um, we've discussed um after a different race where a runner where um uh, a runner did something a bit distracting from the runner who's still going i think we discussed uh that uh runners who are done should try to keep memes and stuff to a minimum so he might just not do anything to yeah. give a and his run the attention it deserves which is very good sportsmanship from Teko. Mm mhm for sure. Very nice sibling camp, by the way, from April. Very clean. Yeah, really clean. I think he took two damage, but he's about to quit out, so that's not a concern. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Getting a little <laughs> bit lost in the menu. I swear to god, menuing is one of the hardest things in Hollow Knight. Yeah. That and jumping. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, no, menuing is rough sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the early control. I didn't know that you could get early control with a nail art. I thought you had to get it with a dream nail. Yeah, no, both works. Interesting. Synchronize, see mm. that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Actually, Taco opting to go to 
Okay, very uh, interesting. Spot I guess let's see which direction he. <laughs> Taco. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh no, a pillow taking a dunk there. Yes, stop mm. him! Stop him! Hus stop him! Oh, you can see that? Oh, that's interesting. Yes, yeah, stop him, Vengefly! Stop him! This does not look good. <laughs> um, so focusing on Aprilos... Wait, what's... Oh? Respect, Taco. Respect. Meanwhile, Aprilo picks up his last ability of the game, Abyss Shriek. Uh, which you saw in Taco's fight, he used to do a ton of damage to the Hollow Knight. And so uh, hopefully we'll see Aprilo do the same. There are safer strats, including D Dark and Shade Soul, but they're not near as effective. Oh, someone's shot me. Oh. <laughs> Abyss climb starting for Ipil. So let's see how he does the abyss climb. I'm I'm mm. thinking we might see some safer strats. Oh no, he goes. Oh no, the crawlid was in a weird spot. Yeah, the movement looks so clean though. Oh yeah, it really did. And he's still going for mad respects. Smart idea to heal there, if you ask me. Well, yeah, for sure. So, it appears that Taco did not kill Myla. Absolute Chad. Oh Very no, a pillow took a dunk there. <laughs> this bit is the hardest bit of, of Abyss Climb. Yeah, for sure. It really is. It looks so scary, but it is definitely scary. Yeah. And it's incredibly precise as well. Mm -hmm. Especially but, with no need to Yeah, tried. but he's still going for it. He's going for it. I know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, makes sense. He, he struggled with it. He gave it his all. And I respect him for that. Oh, he does a different oh, Jake one instead. Good. Nice. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, same. He doesn't have any soul going into the Hollow Knight fight, though, which is not ideal. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You want to be able to go in with at least one Shriek of Soul, so that you can start off the fight doing damage. So... Let's see what he does next. It would be so funny if he you now went to kill Mina. <laughs> mm, no, it would, the funny is not the word I'd use. <laughs> funny is not the word I'd use. Yeah, so he is going to um, most likely finish, I want to say, five minutes roughly behind PB. Um, unless something unfortunate happens. He tried to go for a dash slash night, a visual mm. glitch, which loses two seconds, but uh, he was a little bit early. It, the timing for that can be a little bit difficult. Rhino agreeing with me. See? Oh, Rhino's <laughs> just strong. Rhino is just strong. Um, uh, there are a lot of typos in chat. I think people spell <laughs> said Y E S when they meant to uh, 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 type N O. Um, <laughs> so Taco, you should most certainly uh, not do what the, all those people making typos are. But yeah, so a pillow getting a lot of dashes, which is not ideal. Uh, he 
is going for the V-Dark strats, as Ooh. well as, uh, as a bit Shriek, which although it is safer, it is slower. Yeah, not fair enough to be honest. He probably just wants to finish this in a safe way. Yeah, that makes sense. And it is interesting to see the other strat. Although he's getting so many parries, what is this? Yeah, he's actually giving, um, yeah, he's probably almost getting the world record from Rhino, honestly. How many, what's the record for the most parries in a THK fight? Oh, did Rhino have 12 or something? I think. Oh, wow. Was it in an all skills run or any percent? I can't remember. It was in a PD Oh, that was a wasn't... spicy! How that he fit close. in between those. Very beautiful. Really cool, Aprilla. Nice. GG, Aprilla. GG. Really nice fight. I don't know what THK was doing with all those parries. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so... Uh, let's invite the runners in. That is if they want to do the interview. Yeah. Let's see. GG to go for us anyway. Very beautiful. Very well played. Oh, uh, can you send the invite to Aprilla? Um, sure. Okay, so hopefully the runners will be joining us shortly. Oh, Tucker's in so, the... Yep. Oh, I can... Wait, they could probably can't join, I guess, but I'm just gonna move them, if that's okay. I'm gonna add them. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> True, Ira. A lot of time to kill Mino. Uh, and time to talk to Elderbug, which is the far more important thing. <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, chat, if you have any questions you'd like to ask the runners, uh, feel free to type them in chat. GG, Taco and Aprilo. Very GG. well run. Very GG. good run for both of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we two are actually like the only two German runners in the entire tournament, no, right? There are three German, the German runners, including me, and I raced both of the others. I raced Water and you. <laughs> Wait, Water Wait, with what flavor? Is German? Yeah, Water is German. No oh, I didn't know way! That. I didn't know that at all! <laughs> oh boy, okay. Water actually just had his race, I think. Yeah, oh I think gosh. so too, against Serpent, uh, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Also, yeah, we, were, we were wondering if uh, like if, if Water would have come instead of Zira, then we would have been four drums and we could have done the interview in German. But <laughs> Wait, Shai, you're in German as well? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, what a coincidence. Yeah. Oh, that's epic. Well, yeah, so GG Taco. Taco, I know that you had the race up and you were probably listening to comms, but Aprilo, were you watching the race? I, I was watching on the side, but I didn't have uh, like audio uh, on, so I didn't hear anything. Mm. Okay. I'll have to yeah. rewatch it. I also didn't have audio because then I think the restream would have picked up the audio. Oh, that's why I never turned that on. Right. That makes yes. sense. Yeah, I wanted to set sense. it up with like uh, the banana thing, but I uh, just didn't get around to it. So I still yeah. have to mute yeah, the stream. Yeah, voice meter. Voice meter. Yeah, speed. voice meter. It can be quite complicating to use. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just didn't have much time the last three weeks. I think, yeah, the last yeah. time I opened the game was actually during my last race. So 
Oh, wow. Fire. Yeah, that, that kind of showed, I think, because this was the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think for, for the most part, you really played very well. Um, the one part where it showed the most was probably the Hornet 2 fight, just because that's the kind of thing where if you mess, like, if you f get out of the rhythm, then it just all goes poof. Yeah, and Long that, that happened. Hell. I think that's the first time I died twice to her, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, like, in a race, I mean. Right. Perhaps in my first one I also did, but... Yeah. I mean, you it's... Uh, a... Yeah? <laughs> five minutes behind my PV. <laughs> right. You both had a bit of trouble trouble with the early game and similar spots, but Taco, you're... you're... After yeah. C-Dash, your gameplay just skyrocketed. <laughs> okay, thanks. I think the reason for <laughs> that, was that so is... was so good. Oh man, I actually didn't have time to warm up today. Uh, because first oh, really? I was trying to like upload a video to YouTube, but that didn't work because there was always an audio bug and I had to render it like literally five to ten times. And then like uh, half an hour before the race actually started, I had to set everything up and my uh, computer was messing up, so I still... Basically, when we started the run, that was the first time I picked up the controller today. Oh no. Yeah. You still mm. played incredibly well though. And once you got past the early game segments, your your gameplay was really good. Thank you. Yeah, I think so too. But still what was like going almost through your every mind, boss though? That, Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Almost every boss had one HP, I feel like. Oh yeah, both of you though. It was so yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I just padded the stats for the for the Google Sheet with my one HP. <laughs> uh, I I'm actually surprised that I didn't die um, outside of Hornet Two. <laughs> with how often I went down to one HP. Same. Hello, the, the last Hornet Two fight though, you went in with three health and you handled it really well. Mm. It was incredible. Wait, Wait, how do you go into the Hornet Two fight with three health? Did you not get <laughs> a bench? Wait, now I'm confused as well. Uh, cause I think from the shade? Hmm. Um, did I get hit by the shade? That would be really incredible. Um... I, I, <laughs> it, it could be I'm misremembering, <laughs> um... No, 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 no. You... Um... <laughs> anyway... I mean three times the charms, right? So, however yeah. well I did in the last one, the first two were just warm-up. True, exactly, true. exactly. Uh, I, I wasn't exactly uh, thrilled by, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, like my green path, I, I was already kind of, um, like when I started, I literally just, um, I, I left my homework, which I had been doing for the last three weeks, uh, basically uh, every day from dusk till dawn. Um, and then uh, that's what I was doing until five minutes before the race. And then I just jumped in and oh, was wow. like, okay, I'm not warmed up at all. And then after my green path, I was kind of tilted already because... I lost over a minute there to my PB, um, but uh, good news, I actually golded my Crystal Heart split. <laughs> oh, congrats! <laughs> Thanks! That's very Wait. Nice yeah, you had a really nice split there. Yeah, I think that was one of the first times where I just didn't uh, stop in Crystal Peak together like Saul and uh, heal that often, so mm -hmm. that actually made quite a big difference. Yeah, yeah GG nice. Taco. Really well played. Well played to you too, man. Thanks. <laughs> was a lot of fun. I think this was actually the most fun I've ever had in a tournament race. Simply oh, because of the fact that so much went wrong. <laughs> yeah. I started the run. I just started the run first. Sira with the countdown, she took a bit. And then she said, zero. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's so it was fine. Tempo then, on my end. Then the next the thing, is, thing was, uh, I accidentally set it to compare to uh, real time as opposed to game time. And then like in some mm. random room, I, I changed it. But uh, before that, uh, the team <laughs> went crazy, like, stop the race! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. yeah. Good times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I actually... Uh, Taco, uh, what, what was going through your mind after um, you knew that you had uh, messed up the the setup for the one... for the not for the one cycle, for the uh, damageless uh, C peaks. Uh, I was like, damn. 
<laughs> that always happens to me. For some reason, always when I go up those conveyor belts, I dash into the wall as opposed to away from the wall. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But it is, it, it is like that. And I just, I don't know, tanked the damage. Then I tanked a lot more damage, went down to one health, so I didn't do underplat. I know everybody was pretty disappointed, but I didn't think it was worth the risk. No, no, it was yeah, a completely sure. respectable decision. Aprilo, though, I respect you for uh, for the underplat. Thanks, I try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, this this is probably like I think I have tried underplat in everything, every single race so far, and always failed it. But this was about the closest I've gotten to actually making it. So. Yeah, it was very close. Yeah, the problem with underplat is that it uh, takes it takes two damage if you mess it up. So. Mm, and the side is completely different. It's very mean. Right. But I overall, actually golded Shade Soul. Oh, congrats. I oh, nice. Some of those segments I did really well, but others I just completely messed up. <laughs> it was all, this was all over the place. So, uh, both runners, I'd like to ask you, are there any segments that you're particularly proud of? Or an any segments <laughs> that you're going to go back and practice afterwards? Oh, good question. Do you want to go first? I don't feel like I'm particularly proud of any split, um, but uh, I'm kind of happy that I made back like a lot of time, surprisingly, um, in a few places after falling behind so much. So I wasn't always losing time, like um, especially on uh, like. Um, I think. Hello, I'm watching the stream, and you have me have me at the edge of my seat. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm pausing right now because I'm checking through my splits. I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah, I, like I know that uh, for descending dark as well, I uh, I made back over half a minute um, compared to like my PB, and uh, I guess I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm definitely really disappointed in my uh, abyss climb. Like my my abyss climb is definitely the part that I will be practicing the most. Although I have a thirty three, but um, mm -hmm. I definitely didn't get anywhere close to that this time. So you move it like very clean, though. Like I mean, obviously, um, you had a rough time with the spikes, but instead of that, it was very nice. Yeah, like when I get it, then <laughs> I, I'm glad that I got like all of the smaller tricks. If you know what I mean, like. Mm -hmm. The air walk and stuff. Um, yeah, that was sick. That's kind of something that I'm really happy about with, but like, overall it wasn't like good or anything. For me, it was like overall most things I messed up. I think from the green path fireball skips, I got zero. And... Uh, yeah, I guess Shade Soul was pretty good, even though I took the top route, which uh, apparently is the noob route. Uh, <laughs> and then also the... Uh, it's not Aspid Arena, but the, the second arena. Oh, the Split Arena? With the flies. Oh, uh, yeah, Howling really Rave. Well oh, uh, yeah, Howling Raves, that one. That was also pretty tight, except I missed the last fireball. So I'd say I'm pretty proud of that. But yeah, I... I have a lot of room to improve, a lot, lot of stuff to practice. Right. Uh, and Still... we are apparently now ascending with Gorb. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I ascended nice with Gorb. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're, you're like really close to your PB as well, like two minutes. Um, mm -hmm. It's like in a race setting, I think that's pretty, pretty respectable. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. considering how much I messed up in this race, I got so much time back. This is pretty crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm totally happy with the time. I, I saw you pogoing like the crystal platforms and crystal heart at one HP, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> this yeah. is this is the only chance I'll ever get for making back the time. But I was, then then I was a, a second slow. later, I saw you hit the totem. I was like, ah, I'm mm. I'm happy that you made it, <laughs> but <laughs> no, of course I always. Uh, when I'm running against somebody who has like a way faster time than me, I also always hope 
that they're gonna die at some point, mess up, right? Because that's the only way you're gonna gonna beat them. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> not not that I was like hoping for a win against you. I mean, our PVs are like ten minutes apart almost. Exactly. Exactly. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah, but either way, like, compared to your respective PBs, you both ran incredibly well. Yeah, for sure. Mm, thanks. April, you, uh, you also did incredibly well. I, I feel like the praise is a bit undeserved, but I'm ha I'm happy and I'll take it. Uh, I did try my best this time and I didn't go for any memes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you didn't save any grubs, neither of you. I did. I saved I, the grub Crystal Peak. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, one, that, that one, if you don't save, you're just a monster. There's other ones that make you a good person. <laughs> I, I actually, um, I was considering saving the one in, Chris, um, in City of Tears after Soul Sanctum, but... Um, yeah, my, my muscle memory um, left me, and then it was already too late, and I was like, ah, this is... Th yeah, this would take too much time to go back now. <laughs> That's understandable. But yeah, so uh, I think uh, we're going to sign off here. Uh, if, if either of you have anything else you'd like to uh, say or... Yeah, thank you, Zira and Shai, for commentating. I'm looking forward to rewatching uh, the, <laughs> the VOD. Yeah, thank you guys for, for taking the time to commentate. Thank you for, for setting the tournament up, as always. It's been a pleasure to be able to participate. It was a great time. Also, yeah, uh, thank you, Pisces and Insomnia, for uh, setting mm -hmm. up this tournament. And thank you, Rixian, for keeping all the times in all three races today, some of them overlapping. Huge shout outs to Rixian. Also, I want to give a shout out to Massive Moss Charger. All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on that note, have a wonderful rest of your day, chat. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.